I know a lot of my friends who've not probably even made it to their thirties because they've killed themselves, right? The, it's so it's not a joke anymore. It's not funny to make fun of somebody's entire existence. Mm. But there are two ways to say "Look, kya kahenge?" Na, one is "Look, kya kahenge?" And my father held my hand and said, "Look, kya kahenge?" Kya kahenge? Kya? Kahenge do. We celebrated the fact that he has a fantastic collection of Barbie dolls. It's not like someone is a guest who can hide the Barbie dolls. No. My father knows which all bars I have performed in, and there is no shame in that. Yeah. Because at a point when I was not getting work, I will dance at bars. I will sing at bars. Why not? I signed my first Bollywood film as a singer and as an actor this this year. After seventeen years, I am the only Rekha ji. I am the only Rakhi ji. Or I am very proud of it. May that light of yours kind of strengthen others and show a light to those people. Who are probably in a dark spot in their lives. It's been a very tough journey. I would not want to go through this again. Hi everyone, this is Avinash Lohan, and you're watching Pinkwilla. We often hear about what good parenting should be like. Today, let me show you what it should look like. Please welcome the very admirable Sushant Divgikar and the man who has been the wind beneath those wings, Mr. Pradeep Divgikar. Hi, glad to be here. Thank you so much, Sushant Pradeep sir, to be here and to do this with us. We it really means a lot to us. So thank, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So before we start this conversation, I want to ask Sushant um, for my readers, for myself, what pronoun should I use when I refer to you, when I speak to you, and why is it important that we know it and we adapt to it? I think uh, first of all, <laughs> yeah, Pink Villa is like now um, like family, you know. Yeah, this is like my oh, third, third, fourth, but first time with dad, yeah. and um, I, I just want to say that thanks for asking. It's kind of you to ask uh, and not, um, you know, speculate. Uh, I think a lot of people are scared, and some people just dismiss it. And um, uh, but if somebody tells you, for example, if you say your name is Avinash, but I insist on calling you Ravi. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Absolutely. So I think that if somebody identifies in a particular gender, then um, uh, and it it might not, it might be tough for people to understand it. Yeah. You know, like they'll be like, oh, but you were born a male, then why don't you just live like a male? Yeah. But I'm, you know, it doesn't add up, right? Yeah. Because that's not the your reality. Correct. So I think that uh, having said that, I'm comfortable with she, they, and he pronouns because I identify as a transgender person. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Before we move on to the next question, I have a small surprise for you, Sushant. There's some. So while researching for this interview, I saw somewhere that there's someone who you really admire. So I reached out to that person, and that person has sent a lovely message for you. I would love to play it for you, with your permission. Of course. Let's do it. Who I'm? Th- my heart is beating. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's play. Hi, Sushant. This is Urmila Matonkar, <gasps> and it is such a pleasure to be connecting with you today. I was told that uh, <laughs> you're very fond of me, yes. and I was like, "Oh my God, that fondness is uh, both ways," because um, <laughs> I just feel that it just takes so much strength and courage uh, in this world to be sure of what it is that you want, uh, to believe in yourself, and to go out in the world to put up a fight, a struggle, and uh, to finally achieve. to grab almost from the world what it is that you want and you're one such person who has managed to do it so magnificently turned your turn yourself into this beautiful glamorous gorgeous diva and uh, are you such a wonderful performer though i've not seen much of your work and i would like to see it uh, personally some day uh, soon uh, but uh, till then i definitely think that uh, you have showed a way to many many people who are probably uh, going through their own struggles uh, you need to let them know that not every day is going to be uh, magnanimous beautiful and uh, glamorous but uh, to hang in there it's a pride month and on this day through you i just want to reach out to as many people as possible uh, who are on a similar path in their lives and i want to tell all of them that at the end it will all be worth it so just hang in there and to you sushant my glamorous glamorous diva i would only say keep rocking and definitely keep shining <laughs> really really bright because may that light of yours kind of strengthen others and show a light to those people 
were probably in a dark spot in their lives, not knowing where is the end of the tunnel going to be. You are going to be that star, hopefully, who is going to show them that, yes, you can make it, and you can stand tall, uh, proud, and extremely happy. So wishing you all the very, very best in the times to come. Keep shining and keep rocking. Lots and lots of love. <laughs> Until the time we meet personally, uh, a big, tight hug. Bye-bye. So sweet. Oh, so my sweet. God. Really. Very sweet. I have to tell you, I always give Razia uh, a reference. Uh, when it comes to hair, it has to be either dimple, uh, dimple ma'am, or Urmila. Yeah. It has to it has to be luscious like them. Yeah. So today I just see. It's so much <laughs> yeah. like her beautiful like you can ask anyone, like Urmila and Dimple G had the best hair yeah. in the industry. Yeah. It's you know, it, you would dad used to tell me from Bobby and all those. So you know she had that beautiful uh, luscious hair and then her you won't believe it just now when in the studio when I was shooting we were I was playing her playlist. Really? Yeah, I love her. I, huh, I yeah. think she's a revolutionary in so many ways. Yeah. Right from, uh, I mean, from, um, uh, you know, the when she was a child actor. Masoom. Yes. From Masoom. Masoom. And then Hiba films. To, yeah, and then, see, our whole family is, uh, it's not just me. It's, yeah. I think, our whole family. And because why? <laughs> she because she comes from humble beginnings. Yes. And she worked so hard. Yeah. In fact, if she's telling me that, I think I, I, I cried because we looked at her and we looked at success stories like hers and Madhuri's and we, we, you know, I used to, I keep saying that, you know, this is so inspirational. These are the women that we, because she has done, um, uh, you know, so many films which have been so epic at one yeah. point, it was, Urmila yeah. was everywhere. Yeah. And that is when I was growing up. Yeah. So for me to see films like even for something like a Pyar Tune Kya Kiya or um, uh, you know, uh, and even both. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, what uh, what was that one? Uh, uh, Con. Rangila. Uh, Rangila, to of course. Yeah. Yeah, ire, yeah, ire. Zor laga ke na chire. Whoa. I mean, I've grown up and uh, and this one. Aaye, aajaaye, aahi jaaye. You na reh reh ke hume tad paaye. Amazing. Let me tell you, the audio note came to me within minutes. She's amazing. So the fondness is very evident. Yeah, yeah. No, and and it was so heartfelt what she said. Yeah. You know, otherwise it, you, it's there and it's the that is the Marathiness. No? <laughs> it's so genuine. Yeah. yeah. It's so genuine. Correct. I agree. Yeah. My God. But sir, I want to ask you since we are doing this interview to celebrate Sushant's journey and your bond, uh, how was? Sushant as a child, Mahti <laughs> Khod. <laughs> like any other kid, uh, but had a fondness for Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. I would imagine uh, then Sushant had one of the best collection of Barbie dolls. I was my in son, the papers for it. My older son Karan had a collection of all the Skeletor and He-Man and all the scary stuff, no? which was more about virility and all that. Sushant was the most soft out of the two yeah. then. But then that's that's... Even I, when I was growing, I'm told that I used to wear my sister's, you know, uniform or dresses, and I used to do Bharat Natyam and all because they were training for Bharat Natyam. Uh, but he 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 had a fa fantastic fascination for dolls. Though he was a sports person, he did well in his school sports and also an outstanding swimmer. In his uh, few formative years, he See, was the best. Still in go with he and his, and it's because it's that time he was because that time I was, yeah. and it doesn't mean that it's disrespect. I just want to also tell children. Yeah. I'm sorry, daddy, too. Yeah, 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 you. absolutely. I just want to also tell children that you have to be patient with your parents. It's not like. Just like you want them to be patient with you, yeah. you have to also be patient with them. And it's all a learning process. Yeah. It's like, you know, who are you going to fight? The people who brought you into this world? Yeah. It's so stupid. Correct. So I think that it's like, give them time. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. And uh, I, I believe, uh, I've said this, my love for my child, she, they, is organic. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter the pronouns that I use because I keep saying this that I've got to actually unlearn all the English that we learned first <laughs> to get to adapt. You know, you used a very yeah. good word. It's about adaptability and it yeah. takes time. Yeah. I mean, she is showing a lot of patience that, you know, we'll get there. And I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah. But uh, beside, aside of that, I think what is very important is the love which is unconditional. 
Yeah. For a child. The society is a little accepting today. I won't it say is, very accepting, is, and I think is, Sushant would agree. It's come a long way. But it's a little accepting today, but back then it was not accepting at all. So when you see your son playing with a Barbie doll, according to the usual societal norms, they would not take it very kindly. When you must have received, um, you know, feedback back then, for the lack of better vocabulary, uh, what would you, how would you react, sir? Nobody actually, uh, I won't use the word dare or something. We are not some kind of terrors or something like that. Yeah. But maybe out of respect or nobody even brought it to our notice. It's just, it, we celebrated that. Amazing. If you ask me honestly, we celebrated the fact that he has a fantastic collection of Barbie dolls. It's not like someone is a guest has come hide the Barbie dolls. No, they were all over the place. They were on the sofa. They were here. They were there because a child plays all over. Yeah. So the Barbie dolls were there, and so were the He-Man and Skeletor and you know Samson and whatever. All those <laughs> toys also. They were all there. Tarzan. Everything was there. Tarzan so, was my brother. So it was yeah. So it was all there. Not we made no pretense, and uh, I think none of us were shying away from the fact that this is what the child likes. I mean, we were celebrating that. I mean, every child doesn't have to be the same. Yeah. We don't have a mold, right? Yeah. We've allowed them. That's one thing both uh, Mo Bharti and even I, yeah. we've never ever tried to dictate the course of their lives. Sure. That's one thing wow. we take a lot of pride because uh, I've always said, live your life the way you want it, but with a little responsibility. I think I celebrate. That's because true. for me, uh, this is not deviant behavior, this is diverse and I believe in embracing diversity. No, I remember Sushant also put up a post once uh, where uh, Sushant mentioned that, uh, you know, you're not only a father to they, but to a lot of people from Absolutely. the community. I would say and not just me, even Bharti. Yeah. yeah. She's a mother to every, every other My friend mom. of Sushant. Yes. <laughs> but Sushant, correct me if I'm wrong, but the journey of coming out and that self-realization could be very lonely. Uh, when you're on that path, when you're probably self-realizing, you're understanding where you are uh, as far as your orientation is concerned, what role did your parents play there to help you battle that loneliness? Because that loneliness can really take you inside the cave. Yes, it's a very beautiful question actually because, and I agree, instantly got emotional. Um, because uh, I think that what you said in your, uh, what you asked in the previous question to my father, and you said that, you know, uh, it was not easy. When I came out, it was uh, what, about 16, 17 years back. Yeah. 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 And uh, I'm not going to reveal my age. It's all, all there. But, uh, <laughs> 377 was very much there in the yes. statute books. I remember. Yes. And it was, uh, and we didn't have many references. We didn't have social media. Yeah. We didn't have uh, enough information about communities, sub-communities, diversity. Back then it was crazy, it was madness. They, they, also the depiction of queer people, of LGBT community on in our mainstream films. Horrible. It was, it was scarring. It's yeah. not horrible. It is for someone who has grown up around that time, it was scarring. Mm. Because I know a lot of my friends who have not probably even made it to their 30s because they've killed themselves. Right? The, it's, so it's not a joke anymore. It's not funny to make fun of somebody's entire existence. Hmm. It was caricaturing. It was caricaturing. It was making fun of their e existence or you know, the way they are and the way they speak, the way they talk, the way they breathe, the, the uh, their choices in life. And, and, and it suddenly was like, it's okay to do this. They used to openly even molest them and think it's it's a fun thing to do yeah. what now you tell me when i when young boys are looking at this and think it's okay because the actors that they idolize or emulate are doing this and so for them it is okay to do this to trans people yeah that's how tough it was yeah and that's why even i could not understand whether i should come out to them first only as trans because i did not understand about myself i was scared to come out as trans because what I saw on the screens was trans people only begging or doing sex work. Dhanda jo bolte na. True. So, मुझे लगा कि मुझे भी करना पड़ेगा क्या? तो अगर मेरे माँबाप ने मुझे अपनाया नहीं और उन्हें उन्होंने मुझे बोला कि आप घर छोड़के चले जाओ हमको ये सोसाइटी से नहीं लोग क्या कहेंगे? जी. But there are two ways to say लोग क्या कहेंगे ना. One is लोग क्या कहेंगे? And my father held my hand and said लोग क्या कहेंगे? 
क्या कहेंगे क्या कहने दो करें कहने दो उनको उनका तो काम है कहना देर आर टू वेज एंड आई थिंक द टोनैलिटी विथ विच ही हैज ही हैज सेट सो मेनी थिंग्स इवन नाउ वॉट ही सेट इट कैन बी अ बाइबल फॉर गुड पेरेंटिंग Yeah, I will tell you, and because I was a distinction student all throughout, na hi ye Pythagoras theorem ne mere ko. Ma, mujhe to mujhe pehle hi pata tha mujhe psychology padni hai. I became a psychologist. Children know now nowadays children know at thirteen, fourteen. Let them choose. Yeah. Let them choose. Yeah. Or aaj to main kaha meri degree main jaan rahi hu. Main to naaj gaake paise kamati hu. My father knows which all bars I have performed in, and there is no shame in that. Yeah. Because at a point when I was not getting work, I will dance at bars. I will sing at bars. Why not? Yeah. Who's who is to say? Yeah. I can speak the key, Queen's English, but I'm like, Joe, you. I speak nine languages. So my thing is, who is who is to say this is not? But back then we didn't have. Yeah. So that's that. What I'm trying to say is that today you have people. आज आप मेरी story बता रहे हो. उस ज़माने में कौन बताता था? Correct. The fact that we are having this conversation is society also has evolved. But Sushant, you mentioned name calling, and I can't probably imagine how tough it would be. You know, when your own existence, as I have said, hijra, when your own existence, 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 when your own तो बट द थिंग इज क्योंकि मैं भी तो कितनी मैं लंबी हूँ कितनी हूँ मेरे से पंगा लेने से पहले तो मैं तो उनको बोल ही देती मैं तो ऐसे देखती हूँ मैं क्या क्या बोला उधर से सुनाई नहीं दिया मेरे को मेरे थोड़े लेवल पे आके बोलना एंड देन व्हेन यू एंड एंड स्पेशली व्हेन यू व्हेन समवन विल दैट डे आई हैड गॉन फॉर एन इवेंट एंड आई यू नो देर वॉज इट वॉज एन इवेंट यू नो विथ सोनाक्षी वॉज देयर एंड यू नो वी जस्ट टॉकिंग एंड आई लेफ्ट आफ्टर आई फिनिश and the staff in the hotel said ye 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 hijra hai kya now and on another day i would not i walked and <laughs> i'm going back i was like ha to abhi kya karega maza aaya tere ko bol ke to tu mere ko abhi hijre bolega to main tere ko ye mard bolega ki wo how kya hai it doesn't make sense tune kya bola jo mere ko lagna chahiye yeah it's not a gali And अभी मैं तेरे को तेरा तेरी नाउ आई नेवर डू दैट बट अभी तुमने मर्द होके क्या उखाड़ा एट द एंड ऑफ द डे तुमने मर्द होके और तुमको मेरे को यू आर सर्विंग मी टेक्निकली नो इट्स नॉट लाइक आई एम शोइंग यू वे यू आर बट तुम आए ना तो देख के चलो ना बेटा घर से निकलते वक्त नहीं देखे क्या अपने गिरवान में झाँक के देखो मेरा तो मैं देख लूंगी और मैं कितनी हिजड़ी हूँ मैं ये हूँ मैं कितना ट्रांस हूँ मेरे को जान में जान मेरा मेरे पापा जानते हैं मेरे मेरी फैमिली जानती है सोसाइटी आवाम जानती तेरे बोलने से मैं वापस हुई क्या सो दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू टेल देम आई टू टेल देम नाउ आई टू टेल देम ऑल्सो दे विल ऑल्सो दे विल बी कॉमेंट दैट विल थ्रो बट द थिंग इज दैट अभी ऑल्सो इट 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 इज अप टू यू अर्लियर इट यूज टू अफेक्ट मी अलॉट वेन आई वॉज ऑन टी वी एंड आई वॉज अ वी जे and i did you know even when i did big boss why did big boss when i was 23 or meri season shayad ek uh, shayad ek hi season hai jahan par mere langikta pe ya fir mere samlangik hone se kisi ne mera mazak nahi uda agar mera anban hua kisi ke sath ya fir hamari koi jo jo jhagde hue or whatever mere to aise jhagde hue nahi but anban thi thodi bahut wo that's not because i was from the lgbt community yeah my uh, season had the most that way evolved people yeah wo yeah. pagal hain thode hmm. main bhi hu <laughs> kaun hai kaun perfect hai correct bhaiya i keep telling everybody i am in equal amounts mein jitni rekha ji hu main utni rakhi bhi hu aur i am very proud of it yeah kyun nahi hona chahiye bhaiya more power yeah all are women women come in all so forms and shapes so i am very happy and drakhi is an icon for the trans community let me tell you 
for so many for yeah. so many i mean not only the trans community but gen she is an yeah. icon because generally because she is just out there and she's you know there. owning herself and everybody aaj india mein sab jante na usko to wo bhi bolti hai aap mere ko jo bhi bolo but aap baat kar rahe ho na mere bare mein ji i love that wo confidence to bhaiya i to live for it but sushant so, in one of the interviews you also said ki agar agle janam mein mujhe pucha jaye sushant banna chahoge to maine kaha nahi yeah kyu i think it was a very uh, uh it's been a very tough journey i would not want to go through this again only for the simple reason that i know for a fact i f- signed my first bollywood film as a singer as an actor this, this year after 17 years it's not like i have not gone for auditions or i have not but they have not even given me the time of day mm-hmm. and they've all seen me they all know about me and it's just that it's not like I think then and I'm not being modest but the thing is that maine bahut riyaz kiya hai maine apne aap pe itna kaam kiya hai ki right from classical dancing to contemporary jazz ballet bharatnatyam kathak everything and then singing and performing and acting and I can sing in four octaves in the male to the female register how many people in even as singers can do this yeah and why was I not given that opportunity because you are scared I'm not scared. Look at me. I'm anything but scared. You are scared. तो अगर आपकी मर्दानगी या आपका औरतपना मेरे आप उपस्थिति में अगर आपका आपकी मर्दानगी हिलती है मैं तो जानती हूँ मैं ट्रांस हूँ बट आप कितने मर्द हो जी इतना इतना ये आपका ये इतना शेक हो रहा है योर मैन हुड इज शेकिंग सो मच देन योर मैन हुड इज फ्रैजल you are fragile not me true and if i if you have to believe that you have the power to you completely wipe out a tra- the community which is the hijras let me tell you mughal aaye british aaye sab chale gaye hum hain wo meri behne aaj bhi hain aur wo hamesha rahengi and to empower the community i also very strongly believe education like you rightly yes. mentioned but also work respectful work also should be given absolutely in 2018 i remember frances mcdormand when she won her oscar she ended her speech with two words she said inclusion rider for my readers i want to read out the definition of inclusion rider it says it is a provision in an actor or a filmmaker's contract that provides for a certain level of diversity in casting and production staff fantastic you think this can be accepted in well, our business to that. they they should Uh, well, it, it, it technically is the, all your designers yeah. not all your designers the styling team makeup hair there are so many people even in direction even in uh, even writing script writing dialogues uh, you know a creative art design you're trying to tell me there's not one gay person or trans person in all of these have you not have you not seen them have you not known them yeah. we all have friends yeah. who are yeah yeah Do you know that netflix and all these ott platforms have a mandate hmm. you have to have this is the reason they have certain number of shows that will be queer oriented lgbt oriented wow unka mandate hai kyunki nahi to hamari stories kon agar aapne bhi agar hame nahi bulaya hota aaj to hamare mere papa ke bare mein kitne log jante ji and the fact that he is such a wonderful father mujhe to chhod do chalo main to aur 17 saal wait kar leti hmm. but mujhe pata hai wo hota but my thing is if you don't have an inclusion rider or if you don't have um ya to fir to fir ek kaam karte hai na like because we are te- largely a patriarchal society to fir hum log auraton ka roles bhi nahi karte tum mat karo ha ladkiyo you do you go why you are sitting here go even i'll leave come let's go <laughs> all of it your man so you play your mother in the film you play your wife you play your sister <laughs> you play transgender people we will play trees at the back karo na This no doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So and it's very basic that we have not said that we will eat you. Hmm. Yes. Sure. Um, sir, one parent's second nature is to worry. Were you worried that you know when uh, Sushant came out? Were you worried will he get work? Will he get respect? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we are not even uh, going there in the sense it doesn't really affect us both of us as a child and as a father also she is free to select her partner and even cohabitate and all that it doesn't matter but even if she decides to get married i think uh, we would love to have a nice grand ceremony also and celebrate that uh, having said that no, having I said don't. that but i'll save all the money and yeah. i'm just yeah, i'm have... just breaking it to you you can give me that money there is no need of a grand <laughs> ceremony no, no, what i mean is in our generation please aap humko de do itna inflation pad raha hai baba mein aap paise mein ko de do yeah we could mere ko nahi chahiye pati 100 to 100 friends or whatever <laughs> but i'm just saying is that uh, it didn't weigh me down it did cross my mind and initially when uh, sushant did uh, psychology i did write to a few friends for jobs also hmm. in hr some or the other there was no response for whatever reasons maybe they had people in the hr you know hr departments are now very thin i mean they are not they don't have 10 people working in hr even a big organization has just one or two person so if there is it's a it's a saturated kind of field if there isn't much scope so uh, nothing happened but i'm thankful that nothing happened because she realized that she has to chart out her own path and she did it with great finesse uh, realized that she could become an uh, an entertainer a performer she belonged to the glamour world she think she she think that she believes she owns it and that's i'm uh, very very supportive of every such thought that crosses her mind also and uh, like we always say you know she pays her own bills i mean you know nobody has any right to make any uh, comment about this that and the other i mean is she coming to you to ask you money to pay her bills she is paying her bills and let her lead her own life uh, but somehow at the back of my mind once i realized that uh, you know gig started coming in also i knew that life is uh, secured for sushant and it hasn't really weighed me down like one day he saw me parading in the house <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened so i have not got a call back you know and he said it's fine it's it's and then my father so cute he's like maybe they they've left the office for the day <laughs> <laughs> really sweet. i said how nice <laughs> how sweet and innocent he is yeah. then they were like i said daddy it is 4:30 pm yaar yeah. they can't <laughs> leave they they have to at least even if it's a no also they tell you that you free your dates or whatever na so i was getting and i wanted not to rule it was my dream director chalo anyway season 2 kar legi main it will come i'm sure Karungi that will come and everything else that you really want in your life it yes. will come your way so i want to do a small segment with you called debunking myths so i'm going to read out a few sentences and you have to react to that saying how stupid those sentences are <laughs> Uh, Let's degrees, do it. Various degrees of <laughs> how stupid. <laughs> no. So the first one is homosexuality is a choice. Absolutely untrue. But also to just tell people that in a maj- majorly, as Dad said, and no offense, there is no offense to be taken. Also, you are a sexual minority, or you are a gender minority. That is the reality. okay but as if in a majorly heteronormative society for convenience sake i would say i'm straight no mm. i would say i'm hetero this that was a choice yeah the fact that it is not and i have to live my reality must tell you that it is not a choice correct yeah. right. if i had to make a choice to live a you know oh, you know comfortable life it's been very uncomfortable for me but i would rather live my reality than live a lie yeah so it's not a choice i agree lgbtqia plus people can be cured by appropriate therapy <laughs> i'm allowed to say this <laughs> <laughs> crap yeah <laughs> ditto max <laughs> people from lgbtqia plus community should not be parents because they can influence kids oh my God. rubbish once again <laughs> how how mean how wicked yeah and how cussed can this proposition be yeah yeah who's to say i mean they, they could be the most loving parents i am dad and they are kids. yeah many of in their own little way and the thing rubbish, is that that's also, rubbish and also not just that because the thing is that if 
if anything if you're so scared that we will adopt the kids that you disowned for whatever reason and you could not take care of at least they're going to have some parent at least they're going to have a parent to bust these myths i'll just quickly say there have been a lot of people know who have lost a husband has lost a wife or a wife has lost as a husband so that wife has doubled up as a father and that husband who's lost his wife has also doubled up as, as a, a mother. mother to a girl child yeah. and similarly to boys so these myths have been you know they just blow up in your face yeah, yeah. being attracted to same gender is just a phase not true at all why i'm saying it is i have to confess <laughs> i asked this stupid question the, to him when he yeah. came out yeah. and i asked is it is it a fad or something so i know it occupies people's mind but let people know this is someone who is now converted and it that thing has happened from within me nobody actually got me to convert because my son it's all rubbish which is why the sentence is here thoughts ha huh? what we are the, the lgbt community matlab ke koi membership card nahi milta humko alag kiya gaya hai na iske liye hum log community ban gaye hai aisa nahi hai ki this is another thing is that oh no no, no. as you know people think that we are going to indoctrinate someone ke aise chhune se haath lagate to hum bhi to hamare bhi to maa baap mard aur aurat hai true true you know as parents as family we usually don't express our love to each other very often uh, and we don't say what we really want to so i want to give you this space now only the two of you why don't you say what you want to why don't you ask what you want to and i'm sure everybody who's watching this will get inspired and probably learn something from it okay let's do that now we have uh, a new host with the most and daddy i am uh, going to ask you some questions sure fire and, yeah sure. and uh, it, i'm on the hot seat you can say it's red hot so i think I we both are on the hot seat i thought it's a tete tete i don't know i don't know what to expect so don't, i think i am most scared don't put me in a in a spot <laughs> no i won't of course not when you told and remember you told everybody uh, about me when i came, when you asked me about my gender orientation and uh, did you when when you told your friends and family and all that maybe one or two people i know that had this thing it's okay uh, you know but largely i wanted to know uh, when you told them about me what was their reaction was there any hostility was there uh, was there maybe was it confusion was it like uh, also um, intrigue what what was it like none of that at least to my face uh, i'll say this i don't know what they said what careless whispers happened behind my back and it didn't bother me so they knew that it didn't bother me but i would say uh, with the greatest respect for all my friends and all the affection that i have for them and they have for me i think almost all of them uh, fell in line in the sense they were really uh, admiring both of us you for being what you were and expressing yourself and your gender identity without any uh, without holding back and bharti and i for being very supportive parents so every step of the way i think uh, they've celebrated you as much as we have as parents and i don't think any any parent or any uh, person in our colony ever try to hide their children or say oh he's an evil influence or something no i think that's what i said give it to society also it has transformed it it has evolved and it has become more accepting I'll, these three words i'll keep saying this and there i think everyone is an ally yeah. now today this entire conversation is now becoming so uh, yeah, normalizing normalizing the entire It's conversation together i love it so on that note should you will you sing we should sing together which one i will open the lyrics this is yesudas ka song in chitcho i think most of you are not born i think it is You heard that song? जब दीप जले आना जब दीप जले आना जब शाम ढले आना संकेत मिलन का भूल न जाना मेरा प्यार न बिसराना जब दीप जले आना जब शाम ढले आना मैं 
पलकन डगर बुहारूंगा तेरी राह निहारूंगा मैं पलकन डगर बुहारूंगा तेरी राह निहारूंगा मेरी प्रीत का काजल तुम अपने नैनो में मले आना जब दीप जले आना जब शाम ढली 